Here's a little comp I hope you might want to play it note for note. Go bow me. Be happy. Wow, that was scary. I promise I'll never sing again. Anyway, let's go on with the uh, video. As I think you know, I pushed up to uh, over 5,400 cups using miners and almost exclusively mass miners going there. But some bases are more difficult against miners alone. So here I'm going to be introducing what I call Gobo Me. You may have seen others call such an attack a boner because of the bowler and miner parts of it. But this attack involves golem as well as wizards to uh, help create the funnel. And then bowlers and heroes going in as a kill squad if you like. But also more importantly to help create a clearing on one side of a ring in an island base. Now I brought a rage along as well to ensure that uh, my heroes and my golem get full value with the bowlers. And now here comes an adjacent force of miners. Total of 34 miners here. Now the miners are going to be going around the base. If I'm lucky they might head into uh, the town hall, but I'm not counting on it. Here you can see miners taking advantage of a heal. Poisons for the clan castle up in the north. This clan castle is pretty weak, but I'm going to show an attack on a similar base in my next replay, where there is a true clan castle. The nice thing about bringing a golem and bowlers is that it takes some of the strain off of the queen and she can survive much longer in attack and get inside into a ring. So if you have a narrow ring and you have an island town hall with not too much of, in terms of defenses in the core, this can be a very good attack strategy. Now it's just a matter of letting the miners finish their journey. As you know, their speed has been nerfed down about oh, 15 or 20 percent, so they take longer now. So you do want to release them fairly early in your attack plan. But despite that lowering of their speed, you can see here that they're doing quite well. And now they're going to be heading towards the town hall. And here's a three star against a base that has proven tricky against different attack strategies. So that's Gobo Me. You can see I brought eight bowlers, three wizards. Now here's a repeat on a similar base. This one's even more like base I was using in Legend. It has the same setup with the Infernals and the Eagle and the Clan Castle. Now here I go with uh, the jump again. I don't bother worrying about wall breakers. Spreading out my bowlers and miners to help clear that section. Now bringing my heroes in with the Grand Warden trailing. An early rage take out all these key defenses. This gives me a shot at a three-star attack. Now as you saw in the previous video, here I go with my miners coming in fairly soon adjacent to the hero kill squad attack. Again with the heal. Now this time we'll see an actual clan castle coming out. We've got a dragon with loons. So straddling the poisons can be very effective. It's along their path. Meanwhile, you can see the miners taking out everything in those compartments, staying out of the range of many defenses. Now this base isn't a max base. I mean, the walls are irrelevant, but if you look, you'll see some whiz towers are not maxed, the same with cannons. But it's a sufficiently well-developed Town Hall 11 to give you an idea of what a Gobo Me attack can do on this style of base. As we saw in the previous replay, uh, the Queen is standing up well along with the Warden. Kick in her ability, I don't want to lose her now.
Now this base has put a Tesla in, a couple Teslas in by the town hall, but they don't last long. And there goes the miners again taking out the town hall. So I just wanted to repeat that style of attack to show it's effective against that type of base. Now here's a different base, but again it's an island base with a relatively tight ring. And so this strategy has a good opportunity here. Now I'm going after the uh, eagle primarily. Bringing in my bowlers, they're great at helping to create the funnel for the heroes. And now here comes my heroes. I'm going to be placing an early rage. There we go. A rage with these bowlers is really effective. This gives me a chance at getting to the eagle early and also taking down that inferno. Here comes my miners. Now with one side of the base basically cleared, the miners can concentrate themselves going clockwise around the base. Here we've got a clan castle with giants being taken out. A heel to help protect the miners in that area as they stand up against the giants. Again, I'm not too concerned about the miners not funneling into the town hall. I'm happy with the fact that they're going around in one direction. That gives me a good opportunity for three stars. In addition to the fact that on this style of attack, I've got my queen and my warden alive. We're even taking advantage of the heal spell. Here we go against one of the key defenses against miners, and that's the multi-infernal. Multi-infernal gives me more headaches, really, than uh, the eagle in a lot of attacks. Keep that in mind. You want to take out those uh, multi-infernals. Single infernals are an easy defense against a minor attack. Well, we're almost there. And here we go towards the town hall. Not too surprised to find some bombs in there. Lots of bombs. But uh, the miners survive enough of them and they take it out. So there you've seen three straight examples of a certain style of island base with a ring. Now in this attack by Hot Mama in a friendly challenge, she's bringing two golems. So there are variations on this. She's chosen to reduce her number of miners, bring two golems, and that will help her to funnel on this sort of uh, base with so many outside buildings. But the same philosophy applies. Get the bowlers to uh, help create the funnel and clear the area. Bring in the miners in behind with the warden last. Use a rage. You're a kill squad here taking out the eagle. Now she's used a heal here. Notice how her queen and warden are following behind the miners. There's a certain synergy between bowlers and miners that's hard to describe, but sometimes they can really work well going around the ring. Now here's a heel in the corner. Miners are staying at full health. And now entering an area where there's four Teslas, two Expos, several cannons, lots of incoming fire, taking out a lot of troops. But notice that the uh, golems are still surviving, at least as golemites and attracting and absorbing a lot of fire. So that's one advantage of bringing an extra golem. We've got that meat shield as uh, troops go around the base. So we've got three levels of rings being destroyed all at the same time. Uh, the outer ring with miners, the middle ring with miners, and the inner ring with heroes right now, and some archers. Now soon all those buildings are going to be out of commission and it's just a matter of time until Hot Mama finishes this attack with a three star. 
and here we go. There's the miners coming in to finish off the raid. Nice job. Of course that was a max base, but again it was a friendly challenge, but a nice attack. Well that's it. Bobo Me. It's a pretty interesting attack. It involves a kill squad. Uh, it has the advantage of a meat shield helping to protect and keep your queen and warden alive. And it allows you to create a funnel with your kill squad prior to the miners going in. So it's an interesting attack and I'd recommend you try it out on certain bases like the ones I've shown. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Talk to you later. You can help support my channel by clicking subscribe. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Cheers!